in this video we are going to discuss the shape of type 1 and order 2 system so here we are given with a transfer function sinusoidal transfer function of a system in s domain so that is equivalent to g of s is equivalent to 1 by s into 1 plus st this is the transfer function of the system for which we need to find out the polar plot or nyquist plot as i told you the polar plot or Nyquist plot shape is dependent upon type and order of the system. First, we need to know which type that system is and which order that is in. So, now here if you observe the transfer function of the system, so as I told you, the type number is decided by the number of poles at origin. The number of poles at origin can be defined by the number of single S terms in the denominator polynomial. So, if you observe here I am having single S term. So, not like this. So, if you have 1 plus ST means if you equate to 0 you are going to get pole other than 0. If you equate S to 0 you are not going to get anything other than 0. You are going to get 0 only. So, that means the S term will represent number of poles at origin. S is there. So, 1 pole at origin. If S square is there. 2 poles at origin, S cube is there, 3 poles at origin. So, now here I am having S term at origin means I am having 1 pole at origin. So, 1 pole at origin means that will define as type 1 system. Number of poles of the poles of the system at origin defines the type number. As I am having 1 pole at origin, then I can say this is type 1 system. Coming to order, the maximum value of s power will define the order of the system. So, now if you see the order, so if you multiply these two, so you are going to get square. So, maximum power of s will be 2. So, this is second order system. From initial identification, so here for the given transfer function, this will related to type 1 and order 2 or second order system. So, now by this we can trace where you are going to plot your polar plot or Nyquist plot. If you see this diagram, so where type 0, type 1, type 2, type 3 is there and here we are having different coordinates like order 1, order 2, order 3, order 4. Then according to this you can imagine where your future plot is going to make. So type 1 second order, type 1 second order. So your plot will be in this coordinate. So after calculating, after giving values, if you mentioned in any graph paper, so your plot you are going to get in this place. So here type 1 order 2 means your plot is starting on this line. And you are going to end in this coordinate. So, now if you see, first of all leave that. So, you just keep in mind about final plot. You are going to get your plot here. But anyway, to draw polar plot or Nyquist plot, we need to have idea about magnitude and phase of this given transfer function. Why? Because polar plot or Nyquist plot itself is nothing but the draw or plot of magnitude of the transfer function versus phase of the transfer function. Now, I am going to calculate the magnitude and phase of given transfer function. Now, here for my purpose, I am going to consider S is equivalent to J omega. I am going to replace with frequency. So, J omega into 1 plus J omega T. Now, if you want magnitude, so, modulus of g of j omega is the formula to calculate magnitude of any transfer function. So, now this is equivalent to 1 by omega root of 1 plus omega square t square. This will be your magnitude. After calculating magnitude, we need to calculate, we need to calculate phase. So, here phase is equivalent to so, minus 90 minus tan inverse, so omega by omega t by, so here 1, b by a, tan inverse b by a. Whenever you are having 
single term in denominator you need to consider minus 90 degrees whenever we are having uh, we are classes about Bode plot also I told you so whenever you are having j omega in denominator we need to consider minus 90 if you are having j omega in numerator then you can consider plus 90 so as you are having j omega in denominator I am considering minus 90 minus for as you are having 1 plus j omega t the phase angle of this type of function is equivalent to minus tan inverse b by a where b is equivalent to omega t a means 1 a plus j b for that the phase angle is equivalent to tan inverse b by a so tan inverse omega t so this is equivalent to finally minus 90 degrees minus tan inverse omega t so now we are having magnitude and phase in our hand this is the time to calculate the exact values at omega equivalent to 0 and omega is equivalent to infinity by changing omega from 0 to infinity the plot of magnitude versus phase angle is nothing but polar plot or Nyquist plot so now I am having magnitude and phase so that is why I am going to vary omega equal to 0 to omega is equivalent to infinity first at omega is equivalent to 0 what about the magnitude if you substitute omega is equivalent to 0 then what you are getting 1 by 0 into anything 0 1 by 0 is equivalent to infinity so at omega is equivalent to 0 your magnitude is equivalent to infinity with phase minus 90 minus tan inverse 0 so here tan inverse 0 tan inverse 0 means so here when we are going to get 0 here tan 0 0 so tan inverse 0 means tan 0 0 so that is why theta is equivalent to 0 here minus 90 degrees minus theta uh, 0 degrees is equivalent to minus 90 degrees so infinity with angle minus 90, de uh, 90 degrees when omega is equivalent to 0 so this is about magnitude and phase when omega is equivalent to 0 coming to omega is equivalent to infinity if you substitute omega is equivalent to infinity in this magnitude what you are going to get infinity into anything infinity 1 by infinity is equivalent to 0 your magnitude is equivalent to 0 coming to phase angle you can see tan inverse infinity omega t means omega is equivalent to infinity means um, uh, infinity into anything infinity tan inverse infinity means 90 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 90 degrees 180 degrees so it is going to end at 180 degrees phase so that means if you consider like this this is 0 minus 90 uh, and here plus 90 or 90 degrees this is uh, plus 90 minus 90 so this is 180 this is 270 again this is 360 okay so now here see with my at omega is equivalent to 0 the magnitude is infinity we do not know the magnitude as this is type 1 and second order the plot starts at here and ends at here starts and ends in the same coordinate see here if this is first second coordinate for example in your manner if this is second coordinate or first second third whatever it may be so you can see type 1 order 2 ends in this particular coordinate whether you just treat that as second coordinate or third coordinate that is your wish and now here infinity from minus 90 degrees we do not know the value of infinity where it will touch this type type 1 so it is having 90 degrees phase angle and the value at this 90 degrees we do not know why because infinity that is why I am not touching to this plane in previous case in previous case in previous class 
so that is type 0 and order 1 system so it will uh, at omega is equal to 0 we got 1 there and omega is equal to infinity we are getting some infinity something value so here they are getting 0 I think at 180 degrees they are getting 0 that is why you got this plot but here if you see here the line we need to touch the type 1 system line we need to touch means minus 90 degrees so minus 90 degrees will be this side but I am not touching this line because we do not know the omega value. So, omega is equivalent to magnitude of that transfer function we do not know that is why I am not touching to this. So, now coming to ending, ending means at omega is equivalent to infinity, omega will increase. So, in this direction you can see in this direction for type 1 it will omega will increase in this direction by keep on increasing omega by making omega is equal to infinity the magnitude will become 0 for 180 degrees that means it will become 0 at 180 degrees line it will become infinity at 90 degrees line it will become infinity means I do not know at which point I need to touch for example if you said this is infinity I want to make it as infinity in 90 degrees line minus 90 degrees line and you can touch that but as we do not know where infinity is there in this minus 90 degrees so you just leave this plot like this. So this is polar plot for type 1 and second order system. So like this you can have different polar plots for different types of system.